Hello, in this video, I'll talk about the output that you're supposed to produce in lab seven. And, um, and the two routines you're supposed to write are in print.s in assembly. So uh, in essence, what, what's happening on our microcontroller when it connects to our uh, Citronics device uh, is, uh, let me actually show a graphic of that. Uh, we have our, our Citronics device. The display has to display two things. In the first column, it's gonna display a decimal value and in the second column here, it's going to display the fixed point value. So it's doing that by calling two functions, which you're responsible for. One is called LCD out deck, which you, as you guessed, is to produce the decimal value and an LCD out fix to produce the fixed point number. Um, as it turns out, uh, these numbers are actually in in the in the lab six in in our main program, wherever our main program is. In our main program, which you're not uh, you're not being asked to write or modify, uh, there are calls to these two functions. What they're really doing is there is you, all our data is put in a big array. Um, the data array has all the all these values which are 0, 7, 9, 10, 99, 100, and so on. So 409 and so on. So I'm gonna iterate through this, this array. Uh, there is, where is that? 409, 5, 6, 5, 4, 999, and so on. So for all these values, these values are considered valid and these considered invalid. So invalid as a fixed point because our fixed point numbers, uh, we have restricted them to be between zero and 999. And our resolution delta here is 0 0.01. So, so uh, all that the main is really doing is making these calls where it's gonna call an LCD out deck with a data of i, if you will, whatever the i is, and i keeps going from zero to one and so on, uh, and it calls LCD out fix with the same data of i somewhere, and it it and there's a loop in which it iterates through this. So let's see how we can work these two subroutines out. So uh, let's make a quick note about our output. And we notice that uh, the fixed point is, uh, is the simpler of the two because no matter what the digit is, whether it's zero or it is, uh, uh, or it's some number like 654, um, the, the value that I'm gonna display is always gonna be in a fixed number of positions. So it'll be 0 0.00. So it's always gonna be four characters. The, the units character, the decimal point, the, uh, the tenths, uh, the one tenths, and then the one hundredths, right? This is the units, the, uh, the tenths, one tenths, and then the one hundredths digit right um, so it doesn't matter whether it's 0 or it's 654 654 will also be in uh, in exactly the same number of characters 6 followed by 5 and 4 so that's the units that's the tenths and that's the one hundredths so it seems like it's going to be the easier of the two so we'll we'll first take a look at the LCD outfix so the intuition behind this is pretty straightforward. If I'm given a number n, uh, what I'm gonna do is take the number n, uh, divide it by whatever my resolution is, in this case 100, um, because that's my delta, which is uh, one over, uh, is 10 to the minus two in this case. So I'm gonna 
to divide that by 100 and this will give me the units digit which is which will be the most significant one so let's make that let's call this n over 10 is this guy which is always going to give me the units digit and then because i get a digit but i want to display it as a character on the screen i'm going to always add an offset of 0x30 which is the ascii offset to it and i'm going to call lcd uh, which is my ST7735 uh, draw character. So I'm going to call that uh, my uh, ST7735 out car or draw car or whatever that might be. So I do that and I print my first digit. The next thing I want to do is a, is a decimal point. So I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to uh, first take my n and I'll update my n. n is now equal to my old value of n uh, divided by 100 but this is the remainder. This is the mod operation so what I'm going to get right now is the the remaining two digits that are there. So that's that's going to be the remainder and then I'm going to do another other ST7735 out car or draw car, it doesn't matter what it's called. You do that. Uh, actually, I'm gonna display the decimal point, which in the ASCII table happens to be this. So this is gonna be the decimal point character. And now I'm gonna repeat the same process, ST7735. Uh, this time I'm gonna display the uh, N divided by 10 and plus again the 0x30. And by the way, I'm writing the C code, but you can, you know what the equivalent in assembly is. Um, you need to find out, figure out how you're gonna come do the uh, divide operation is simply a, a div and um, a, a udiv in this case, unsigned div, division. Uh, udiv is what you're gonna do in assembly. And the mod operation is you divide and multiply and subtract. Uh, you've done this in an in in an earlier part of the semester, so we get the uh, the zero x three zero plus n divided by ten. At this point, we're going to be doing the tenth digit, so that's our tenth digit right there, and then we are left with the with the next one. So we're going to update our n again. N now becomes n uh, mod ten. And then we're gonna call our ST7735 again. Uh, this, the out car again, and this time we're gonna do a three zero uh, plus whatever the remaining digit is, which is N, because that's all that is left at this point. Now this is pretty straightforward because outfix is, is always gonna be the same number of characters. Uh, the tricky thing is if I, if I were to um, just take a simple, a uh, simple step here and if I were to just eliminate this one line from my code what would I see on the screen so if this is our LCD remember this is our LCD out fix what I'm suggesting is that our LCD out deck is simply the same code except that it's missing this one line. Just take this one line out and stick this logic here, here. Well, it seems to do the job. The only problem is it will display for zero, right? For the case of zero, it will actually display a zero, zero, zero. For the seven, it will display as zero, zero, seven. And for this, it'll display 009 and so on, which is not acceptable because that's not what these numbers really are. So we want it to be a decimal, decimal number in its true resolution, not some zeros in front, uh, extraneous zeros in front. But if I have a number which is 49, I want it to rep be displayed as 49 and not as 049 this is not acceptable right so 
So how would I fix this? So it seems like the problem we really have is, is we're going about it backwards. That is, we're finding out when I give it, when I'm given a number n, I am finding out the uh, if the if the number has any any number of digits it has, I'm trying to find out if our number happens to be between zero and let's say nine nine nine. I'm trying to find out what the the most significant digit is, and then the next significant digit is, and the least significant digit. That's the order in which I'm finding it: first, second, third. But I don't know what that there is there are three digits in this what if there's only one digit then i don't want to i want to skip these steps it's going to be too many conditionals to do that so here's the trick what if i am given the number let's say six say let's take the number which we just talked about which is 49 if i were to find out what the numbers are and figure out the numbers in the reverse order i figure this out then I figure this out and then I find out there is no more to figure out. So then I can display them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my number n. I'm going to divide it by 10. Right? Actually, let's divide it. Take the number, divide it by 10 and get the remainder. So this one will give me, this will give me the least significant digit, right? Because when I divide by 10, divide 49 by 10 and take the remainder, I get a remainder of 9. So I do that. And then I'm going to simply add that with 0x30. And I'm going to call my, uh, let's not call it yet, but let's just put it, put our 0x30 to it. And instead of, uh, this is my, my digit, if you will. And what I'm going to do to this digit is I'm going to push it on the stack. So I figured out nine, I'm going to push it on the stack. And then I repeat this process again. But this time I'm going to take my n and I'm going to set n equals n divided by 10. So now this time around, so in this particular example of 49, I get a nine here. And I get a... Four here so I go back now and I have a four if I four four mod ten is the second time I get a four and I put the four on the stack so now now I, I have to know when I should stop this loop I know that I'm gonna stop this loop when n becomes equal to zero so the next time around when I do and a four divided by ten this becomes a this becomes a zero and this time around when I go back here I'm gonna say while n is while n is not equal to zero or I can just say while n do this so when n becomes a zero it's not gonna it's not gonna get in the loop I come out and I come out I'm gonna pop them one after the other and print them so I'm just gonna uh, pop and print repeatedly now you the you, one would clearly have to realize here that we don't want to keep popping indefinitely we know we need to remember how many we push so we can pop exactly that many and print them i hope this explains it